Good morning, my community. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. It's a nice cool morning yesterday. It got so hot outside we had to watch because Greg got a little hot in one of them high tunnels out there, but he's doing better today. Today we're gonna talk about blossom end rot on your squashes and zucchini and what the causes are. These squash plants are prospering greatly in our little high tunnel. I can't be more pleased with how good the plants look and how beautiful they are, but we are suffering some of this blossom end rot. So some of the main reasons for this is overwatering, a lack of calcium, and a lack of pollinators. Those are the three main reasons why you're suffering from blossom end rot. Now, when you plant your squash earlier in the year, and we see this just about every year, it takes a while for our pollinators to come in and start to pollinate, so I hand pollinate, and I'm gonna show you how I do that here in a second. But you also want to uh, maintain a, a, a good watering schedule. You don't want it to stay too damp. Now, here in Texas, we've been uh, getting rain probably just about every other day. It's been uh, high humidity. It's been moist outside. So that's one of the reasons. So we're watching when we water these squash and zucchini plants and, um, and then lack of pollinators and calcium. So if you need to apply calcium, and you probably do, <clears throat> kind of a three-step process, watch your watering, get you some cow mag and spray your plants, and then hand pollinate. And let me show you how we're gonna do that. If you're gonna hand pollinate your plants, you need to be sure and be out early in the morning because this is when your flowers are open. So let me show you. Here, you see this is a male flower. We have several male flowers. And this is a female flower. You can see the distinct difference. So what we're gonna do, and I've been doing this every morning until we start to see the hand pollinators, is take one of your male flowers. Now you want it to be a healthy one, guys. Strip off the leaves and go to your female flowers on this plant and gently rub against any open female flower. I'm even gonna do this one here that already has a fruit set on it because it can still turn to blossom end rot. Now you can tell when it's already starting to set a blossom end rot, see? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I don't want it on my plant. I don't want it zapping its energy. So I will need to go on down the line with my squash and zucchini and do and hand pollinate each and every one of these, which I have been doing and I've been having great success. You can see my squash is starting to come in and I have, uh, let's see, here's some of that patty pan squash. And on down here we have some zucchini. This is that gray zucchini I got from Survival Garden Seed. So you can see that the hand pollination is working. We're gonna continue to do that until we see our bees come back. Now we live in farming country, guys, so they're always spraying these cornfields out here and that prohibits the bees and kills them. Honestly, it kills them um, and keeps them from coming in so soon, but we are hoping that we will see them. We've had this issue just about every year um, with our bees being a little late, but we can help them out. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and uh, go ahead and share this video if you can. We appreciate each and every one of you. Love you. See you soon.